Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost in Dixon, Missouri. This is Japan, July 1942. <clears throat> Let's see. Japan has purchased a medium bomber for 11. They finished their battleship for five, that makes 16. They finished these two light carriers for four apiece for eight, makes 24. Fighter for 10 is 34. Tactical bomber for 11 would be 45. Mountain Infantry for four would be 49. And two uh, Militia for a total of four would be 53. And that was, that was all the money they had to spend this turn. They have their three tech chips sitting right over here. And they're going to try to advance jet fighters. Uh, of course, they're going to try to advance improved construction. And they're going to have a go at attack transports. Okay, Jet Fighters is an eight. Missed with a six. Improved construction is a seven. Got that with an 11, so it goes to stage three. And attack transports is an eight. Missed with a one. Okay, we are going to have a bit of combat this turn. Start right here in China. Okay. These six infantry in Hopei are going to attack Xianxi. Uh, KMT has a militia, two fighters, two infantry, and a mountain infantry on that space. These two tactical bombers and this fighter are going to go in to support the attack. Down here... There is uh, a fleet carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber on this card. The tactical bomber is going to take off, fly over here and go on combat air patrol to attack that Anzac submarine, raiding their convoy line. Uh, this submarine down here off of Sumatra once again is going to raid the junction of these two lines. You've got the uh, East Asia line over here for Anzac, and then you have the uh, Indian Ocean line running out this way for uh, India. So he's going to raid those. Uh, that's it there. That coastal sub and the other submarine are just hanging out there. They're kind of in reserve, playing blocker. Over here. And I'll go with the far away one first. 
on this card right here there is a fleet carrier with a tactical bomber and a fighter and a light carrier with a fighter they are going to come over here and attack these American ships which there's a, a heavy cruiser uh, two destroyers there of course the transport can't do anything and uh, a coastal sub there then over here uh, we have three transports here just off Japan they're going to load these oh hit him they're going to load those four infantry. There's three here and one here. And uh, this Marine. And then being escorted. Oh, wait a minute. There's something I forgot to do. I forgot to repair the battleship in the production phase. So, battleship is repaired. They're going to be escorted by the battleship, the heavy cruiser, and light carrier. And they're going to come over here for an unopposed invasion of Midway. There's a major port right there, so it will allow the transports and the battleship to go the three spaces to reach Midway. And... Uh, that'll be it for combat. Since I'm already pointed at Midway, I'll just do that one first. I'll let you know. I'll let you know, right. It's an unopposed invasion. Get uh, too many things going through my brain at one time. And I, I say silly things like that. These guys are coming along just for escort protection, just because. So those ships are actually all in the, the midway space. And these infantry have landed on midway. I'm just making sure it's not worth any money. I didn't think it was. And the Marine goes over there. Okay, that one's done. I'll, I'll get a, a roundel under that. Okay, now we come over here to do this one. I'll let you know. Okay, all three planes went in and got their hit. And uh, all three American ships missed with their defense shots. So the uh, tactical bomber and the two fighters uh, flew back to their carriers. That just leaves the uh, coastal sub out there. Um... I'll have to to look at the rules again cuz I'm just I'm not quite certain about that. I wouldn't think you could put one of those planes on combat air patrol to go after the submarine and still participate in the uh attacks on the surface ships, but maybe you can. I'll I'll have to check the rules on that some more. Okay, now we'll go over here for the uh, tactical bomber with its combat air patrol attack on that submarine. Alright, the tactical bomber got its hit and non-combat moved back to its carrier in the Philippine Sea there. So next, 
is the fight down here in China. As I said before, uh, six infantry from Hopei attacking into Shenzhen, supported by two tactical bombers and a fighter. And uh, two fighters, a militia, two infantry, and a mountain infantry defending for the Chinese. All right, uh, KMT put up a little bit of a fight, but the uh, Japanese got in there and captured Shenzhen. It cost them uh, two infantry and a fighter. One of the KMT fighters got an air superiority hit on the first round. Uh, so off camera, Japan up two. And KMT down to. <clears throat> okay. Now, non combat moves. Let's see. They're not going to have any non combat moves in China, I don't believe. Well, I'll take that back. They are going to have one. The Mountain Infantry from uh, Rihi here is going to go down here into uh, Peking. So that's not just a walk-in for the KMT. And uh, there will be one other. This infantry from Nanking is going to strategic rail up here to Hopei to garrison that. Okay, now down here, let's see, uh, this fleet from the Philippine Sea, see that card has three transports on it, so, One of the transports is going to load the SNLF and the Marine and take them with the fleet. The other two transports, because they have this major port here, the other two transports are going to go one, two, three, back to the Sea of Japan. So those two transports go up there by themselves. The rest of the fleet is going one, two, let's see, one, Two, three, over to here. And those guys go along with it. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I'm not done with combat yet. I've got to uh, do the convoy raid down here. Off Sumatra. Right there. Alright, so I'll get that done and let you know. Okay, the Japanese rolled a four. Uh, plus two for the submarine makes six. 
the uh, British answered back with a roll of four for a difference of two. So they have decided to assign one damage to each of these two convoy lines. So Anzac is losing one and India is losing one. Let's see. I'll take care of that in a minute. Now we go on with our non-combat moves. Uh, let's get over there. The uh, Japanese fleet over here off of San Francisco is going to withdraw one, two back to here to Midway to join this little group. So I'll get them all on the, the same task force card. Okay, now we place units. Turn that way just a little bit. Okay. Battleship goes here. The light carriers with the uh, aircraft that were built this turn. Going right here, a uh, tactical bomber on one of them, a fighter on the other. And there's that one. Let's see. That's going to be it for there. The mountain infantry. We'll go here at the uh, Miner Factory at Rehi. Then, turn this way a little bit. The medium bomber. We'll go down here at Nanking at that Miner Factory. And then we turn this way a little. And the two militia are going down here to the Philippines. Okay. That's it for place units. There's Japan at 38. Now we have to give them their wartime economy roll. And they got a five. So 38 plus five will give them 43 yen to spend next turn. This is Ozark Outpost, over and out.